Hello everyone. In the previous video, we are setting uh, our website and we set uh, set this footer and nav bar, right? So now the time is to work on the, our JavaScript file and uh, set the error path. So let's open this out here. Let me go down and here. We need to just click on this uh, plugin and mark all of the similar files. Okay, and then. Let's go here and type this uh, is it. Oops, let's type it correctly. Uh, is it and in the assets we have our assets uh, website and then this website contain uh, plugins and stuff like that. So I'm going to copy this now with this plugin. So here we have this out okay let's copy this one copy this out uh, guys if you uh, like this video please uh, don't forget to subscribe the button because you will get some beneficial from every week from this youtube channel basically i'm doing the things on daily basis so you will get some new series on the each week and you, you can get the daily level tips and tricks on this youtube channel on the daily basis so is it and uh, here i'm going to add this in the js I have script.js so now let's get refresh i'm going to press ctrl plus u okay let's go here okay this file is opening so it means that the error path is good and these paths are also good so now let's go again back let me close this out here i'm not going to close this out i'm going to close this out like this okay so here we have created a set our navbar and footer and our css and javascript file so now the time is to add the between content right so we have content of this one so first let me go to this one so here we have a website which we created a master template and we want to render styles uh, we want to render the content here right because this is our parent blade and we want to render our child blade into the parent one why because we want to import the navbar and footer uh, with this content right so we don't want to copy this again and paste this into the new child component we want to reuse this code so that's why we are renting this into the parent one okay so here in the views i'm going to create a website directory website and in the website i'm going to create the index.blade.php right and here in the index i'm going to extend why i'm going to extend because basically i want to get the get the this layout slash website right so here just type layouts dot website so it's going to copy basically it's going to get the website layout start website blade and then add its all the functionality so basically we are reusing this uh, layout dot website here right so now let's save this one and close this out so now i'm going to open this index file not the web right so this index is now located where it's located in the views it's located in the website and index so just type uh, website dot index or you can use this slash but i will always follow this dot convention okay so now let's go here and give it a refresh so it will going to open the same thing and yes it's opening the same thing so now your question arises that why we open this out here because i want to render the uh, content into this section right so now here sections comes and solve our issue content and uh, and uh, section so whatever i will add this into this section so this will be uh, available when we uh, call this section so first i'm going to copy the 
code so let me uh, copy the code between footer and header so this one is a code let's copy this one okay okay posted by admin and this one is a header so this section right so let's copy this out and go here and i'm going to paste this out here right so i have added my code here in the section tag right uh, this section and, and now i'm going to call this section into this main web main layout basically i'm going to rendering my parent uh, my child into the parent one so now if i go here and give it a refresh so nothing, nothing is going to happen because we added our section but we did not call this section so how we can call this so now let's go to this layouts dot website so let's open this layout dot website and here i'm going to call my section because i want to render this uh, between uh, navbar and uh, footer so how you can call this so you need to call the yield uh, blade directive and in the yield you need to call the same key as you passed in the section so we pass this here a content so we need to call the same thing here so now our this section will be rendered here right so inside the header and footer so save this one and let's take eye on this And yes, our blog sidebar, our this content latest post and uh, stuff like that, right? So this one is now not uh, opening our images. So we are going to fix these images issue. So basically we need to set the images path. So let's go here. Now let's close, you can close this out because we added this section here. And here our images are located, right? Sorry guys just type image and then this one is responsible for the image press control plus d d d d okay i selected all the images and now i'm going to type mustache sign mustache sign and then mustache sign and then you need to call the assets and after this asset you need to call the website then you need to call the image I think it would be uh, in images and after this images I want to look into this blog directory and in the blog there will be a blog post one so let's so you can uh, view it here so let's go to this website and the website there would be a images directory and images there would be a blog and this blog contain these images right so here now let's uh, copy this out and paste this out here so I'm going to go to this second one, paste it out here, third, now let's paste this out, okay, okay, let me scroll it, paste it, oops okay paste it out here and just copy this out so out here let me copy the fourth one okay everything is working fine so now let's go here and get refresh so it's going to display our images and yes it's loading our images but this logo is not appearing because we forgot to set this logo uh, image path and yes everything is working fine so now let's go to the top and here and let me set the logo path so just to search logo no there is no logo image so let me search here an image where it is still unable to find this out okay let's go here and type oh, this will be a containing a logo so why 
okay oh it's coming from the it's coming from this nav bar not from this uh, child component so let's go to this website and here just find the logo oops not here in the the file so logo and this one is not here so let's set this path is it slash uh, images slash logo dot png so now let's get refresh so it's going to reload our logo and yes now our logo is appeared right so our css is working our javascript is working our images are working perfectly right so we need this section and we also need one more section what is one more we need this uh, single blog we need this uh, single this blog so we are going to display this our full uh, full blog post so here let's close this out and uh, just go to this website and in the website i'm going to create uh, the you can create the blog right and uh, whatever you can add the section here but i'm going to do this uh, with the no let me add this blog section because we are adding the blog blog and in the blog i'm going to move this index file and uh, let me also set this path here this would be a blog dot index right okay so now i'm going to create uh, one more file into this blog so i'll name this single dot blade dot php file right so i'm going to use uh, i'm going to extend the same layout which i did this uh, for previous page and here i'm going to now render my different section here i'm going to call this content and here in the content oops i'm going to add now single blog content here this content right so now let's open this pressing control plus u okay so let's copy out from there copy till this footer let's go here and paste this out and i pasted this out here and we are already calling this content uh, key in this uh, layout dot website right as we did this for the for our index file right so basically we are now doing this same basically we are rendering our pair our child into the parent right let's close this one and open this single layout so here i'm going to not open the index i'm going to open the single so now let's get refresh and yes it's opening the single block so let me set the images path here set the images path okay uh, let me first mark them there would be roughly six images is it and here i'm going to add this uh, slash images slash okay now let's uh, grab these images here okay set these images both here okay let's set this out to we can copy all of the images path i'm not uh, going to skip this out because i'm shooting this full in the real environment i can pause the video and uh, fill these one but i'm doing this in the real environment hope you will be glad to see this full full course in real environment because people learn a lot from these examples so let me also check the video size oh our video size is also going bigger so now our these um, images are working these images are also working and everything is working fine right so we successfully set our uh, index page which is blog page and we also set the single blog page 
so our website to website section is set and then in the next video we are going to set our admin side uh, admin uh, admin dashboard into our uh, laravel application and then we are going to pursue proceed further that how we can create the post in the admin and stuff like that so if you like this video please uh, share your feedback on the comments box and i will meet you in the next one bye bye guys